WLFI and the Salvation Army are teaming up to sponsor the third annual Tools for School. The program offers free school supplies and clothing for children in Tippecanoe and Benton counties, and we need your help. There's still plenty of time left to donate. And here this morning, we have Major Jim Irvin with the Salvation Army and Trish Maxwell with the Lafayette Adult Resource Academy. Thank you both for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you. Jim, I'm going to start with you. Tell us a little bit about the collection drive and the need really in our community. Well, you know, th this is the uh, third year that we've done this with WLFI, the 18th year that the Salvation Army has done this. And every year we're finding that there are more and more children that need help. Uh, the economy is still recovering and uh, uh, families are finding it difficult to uh, make ends meet. So this is a great way to help families uh, make their dollars stretch further. And uh, the wonderful thing about it is people in our community are marvelous about understanding what school supplies are needed so that we can get grade-specific, school-specific supplies into the hands of children so they can be prepared for the best uh, learning opportunity possible. Definitely. Well, last year we helped around 700 students. 800. 800 students. Yeah. Wow, that's even better. Yeah. And this year we're hoping maybe reach 1,000, right? I think we'll, with the economy being what it is and yeah. uh, the generosity of our community, we will reach over 1,000 students this year. That's just amazing. Well, Trish, thank you again for being here this morning. Tell us about the Lafayette Adult Resource Academy and your role this year. Well, we are, of course, a next-door neighbor to the Salvation mm -hmm. Army right across the street on the other side of Union, and it made a lot of sense for us to help with this really important back-to-school event. The first day of school is exciting, mm -hmm. and having kids and families prepared for that day is important to us. So we're glad to be hosting it, glad to have the space, and we will also be offering some additional resources for families. Great. We know that, you know, parental educational attainment predicts ch the children's educational yeah. attainment, so we want to help families succeed on all fronts. And having the drive, the distribution drive at your location allows, you know, for a bigger space to accommodate this bigger need that we're seeing this year too, right? Yes, and we'll pr be providing additional resources and information for parents and children. And you're already getting calls, you said, about folks. I want to make sure everybody knows that the distribution will be at Laura this year. Across the street, this will be the first year that we've moved outside of our building, so this is a wonderful opportunity for everyone. Talk about the drive so far. How's it going? And any items that are in more, in more need than others? Well, you know, unlike when I went to school where all we needed was a little blackboard and piece of chalk, yeah. now, <laughs> we've, now we've got uh, supplies that are needed, pens, papers, uh, and you know, uh, people that want to help out can simply go to the uh, store where you see any of the list of school supplies and uh, you'll see that uh, uh, all of the supplies that are listed there are needed for our drive. The, the larger items are always difficult to find. Backpacks That's are expensive right. okay. and uh, they're hard to get. Okay, well, and we've got plenty of drop-off locations, so when you're out shopping for your child, grab a few extra supplies and help us out here at WLFI, Subway, Metronet, Franciscan Physician Network, Regions Bank, of course, Salvation Army as well. The last day to donate is Friday, August the 2nd. However, if you do miss that deadline, you can always bring the supplies to the Salvation Army through the 7th. The distribution coming up on August 10th, so a week from Saturday. Right. It's well, quick. It will. It'll be here before we know. The first day of school will be here before oh we know. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank you both again for being here this thank morning. You. And, uh, yeah, remember to donate if you can. We appreciate all the help. Well, coming up at the bottom of the...